Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at this. This is a Motorola Microtac Select 3000E. In fact, we're going to be looking at the Select 2000E, 3000E and the 6000. Um, I have all three. I have one of each here. I've, um, I've actually got um, both different versions of this. Um, uh, and I've got a pair of these and I've got, um, I think, two or three of them as well. Um, the, these, these are fairly rare phones um, in, in terms of uh, availability because uh, the, the select range from Motorola, the, so the 2000, 3000 and the 6000, they all operate on GSM 1900 um, or, or what is known, what used to be known as PCS 1900. Uh, personal cellular system, I think, is what it stands for. Um, the, 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 the 2000, 3000 and 6000 all take SIM cards. Uh, they, they all take uh, credit card size SIM cards. Um, so if I get, uh, for example, um, an Air Voice like this, this is an American SIM card, um, they, they, they all um, will take a full size credit card SIM card. Now, th these are rare because um, when, when um, these came out uh, mid, to, mid to sort of late 90s, I guess, um, the the um, the Americas were using other systems, CDMA, TDMA particularly. Um, they they also were using uh, certain parts of America were also still using amps, um, and and the service areas for that was real good because it was old analog technology. Um, but uh, when, when they when they brought these phones out, the GSM nineteen hundred had just been launched in in the Americas, so the service areas were actually not well established at all. So a lot of people didn't buy these for that reason, which is why not many of these are floating around these days. Certainly, the the the, the six thousand is is the rarest out of the lot. Um, they they did the StarTac range in this as well. Um, and if you if you if you want to get the StarTac, with, which takes the SIM cards for GSM nineteen hundred. Uh, you need to look out for the StarTac 7000G and the 8000G. Um, I'll try and do another video about them as well. But um, fundamentally, um, the um, the uh, the 3000 um, and the 2000 and the um, 6000 are pretty identical phones. Just um, the, the the 2000 is is a more basic phone in terms of, of menu driven. Uh, functions uh, it's similar to the 3000 the 6000 on the other is much more advanced you've got a, a much bigger display and it's nicer to navigate because um the, the, this this is pretty bulky if you, if you compare that to the to the 6000 um it, it's it's actually a, a little bit taller um so um but let, let's fire one of these up um I actually have a pair of these this one's got a good battery on it um and unfortunately we're in the basement so yeah you can see it, it says um dcs we're in the basement so there's no cellular service uh, down here but um it, it actually says uh, dcs um which should be pcs so i'm not sure why that why that is um but um if we put a um let's try and put a verizon in there um i'm not sure if these have been unlocked yet or not i may need to unlock them if it says enter special code, I know it doesn't. So maybe it's the other one that's been unlocked. Um, I was actually hoping for it to be locked so I could show you how to unlock these. Um, let's try the other one. Um, so with a bit of luck, that will say enter special code. Um, yes, so this is what I wanted because I wanted to show you guys that you can actually unlock these real easy. Um, I have uh, uh, got a blank SIM card um, with some extra code on it and uh, that'll just uh, remo remove the service restriction. So um, it's worth noting that we can try that with any SIM card, not just the Verizon. In fact, we can try it with the Air Voice um, and, and that will say the same thing unless you put a Bell South SIM card in it'll ask you for an enter special code. And without that special code, uh, th this phone is locked to um, the provider that it's designated for. In this case, it's Bell South. So um, let's quickly whack this um, service provider restriction sim in there and that'll remove the lock. That'll take us into clone mode. So all you need to do is go 06 and the pound or hash key, 03 pound or hash key, and then 06 again 
pound or hash key. Um, and that should have, that should actually have removed the uh, service restriction. So let's try the Verizon SIM card again. Um, with a bit of luck, that will now be fully unlocked. Yeah, so it's not asking for the enter special code anymore. Um, so that that's that one done. Um, I did actually um, upload another video on how to do the 2000s a while back. Um, it's fundamentally the same process for all of these. The, the 6000s already unlocked, um, so I can't really show you it with this one. Um, I'll try and do the. Um, I've got I've got a couple of these, so hopefully the others are still locked. And I'll try and do a video uh, demonstrating that. The technique's the same. It's just a blank sim with an extra bit of code, um, and that that does the trick. So, um, but anyway. Um, there's not really much else I can say. Um, this is this is a Select 2000. Um, it's um, almost similar in terms of menu, I guess. Um, it's got the the same sort of two-line display, um, same sort of battery meters, uh, service meters, and uh, not not much is different really um, in terms of menu, I guess. They they just obviously I don't know why they made this phone bigger than that. Um, I don't know. I I can't work out the the, the difference between the two. So um, certainly the um the the six thousand. I did say it was much more advanced purely because um it, it's based on on um uh, an eighty eight hundred or an eighty seven hundred. Just um it, it's GSM nineteen hundred, whereas uh, as opposed to a an eighty seven hundred, which which is what this is. Uh, well, actually, this is the E Plus version, but the 8700 is identical to this. Uh, this is for a carrier, a uh, service provider in in Germany. But um, so this is just the American version, basically. This this operates on GSM 900 uh, and 1800, and this operates on GSM 1900. So you can't use a GSM 1900 phone on a GSM 1800 uh, cellular provider network. The two are incompatible. They don't work. Uh, they don't work together. So. Um, let me try and quickly whack a SIM card in here. Um, I can't really show you much with regards to these phones because um, you can't make any calls or anything like that. And um, enter phone unlock code. Um, I'm not really sure what that is actually. Um, okay. Well, while we're here, I'm going to whack this this blank SIM card in, um, which has another bit of code, and that'll put the phone into test mode. Hopefully. Um, oh, it doesn't like that. That should put the phone into test mode so we can actually get um, the lock code. And we do that by pressing and holding the pound or hash key. So just ignore the wrong code. That will go into test mode. So if we now do 5-8, security code will be that. Uh, could never have guessed that. And if we do five nine, and the pound key, that will give us the lock code, which is that. Um, couldn't have guessed that. So uh, we now know what the lock code is. Um, we spit this guy out, and then we put Ryzen SIM in. We can then just put the lock code in. Um, which is real nifty these cards um, if, if you buy one of these and you don't know what the lock code is it's it's real nifty to, to know so um, 9662 there we go uh, and that's now searching of course it ain't gonna find anything because there's no service here um, so yeah um, that's all I have to say really about these phones these are pretty rare so if you're into collecting cell phones uh, and certainly these can still be used today that's the main thing really um, a lot of micro uh, you, you can't use anymore um, so but but uh, certainly um, the, these ones will still take sims and, and you can still get good batteries for them if, if you know where to look so uh, certainly I mean I, I have quite a few um, quite a few batteries this is a slim one uh, this is an extended, so you can still buy them, but it's just you need to know where to look. So, um, but yeah, uh, check out my other videos on uh, some of the other phones um, and um, and how to unlock them. Certainly, um, I show you how to unlock uh, uh, Select 2000. Um, and uh, please subscribe and uh, don't forget to share and like. Thanks for watching.